Sats tips that feel like it's cheating, part one. So I'm just gonna go through some of the questions, how I would approach them. Question one, 6,000 plus 90, you're gonna add the nine tens to the 6,000. So that's 6,090, so that's quite straightforward. Question two, I like using a written addition method because it's easy. Just make sure you line up all the digits, start from the lowest value and add them up. If the digits go over 10, you're gonna carry over the one 10 to the next digit. So five plus two is seven, seven plus eight is 15. So carry over that one and then add up all the other digits like this. Question three is a partitioning question. We've got the 800, we've got the six, that leaves the two tens, so 20. Question four has a missing number at the start. So we're gonna do the inverse. The opposite of add is take away. So 341 take away five equals 336. Question five is a multiplication written method. So 41 times nine, nine times one is nine, four times nine is 36, 369. The key thing for question six is to make sure you line up the decimal point. And once you do that, all you've got to do is then add it up like a normal, regular addition method. So three plus zero, it's two plus seven, one plus eight, three plus five, and then you get your answer. The next question is 180 divided by three. Well, 18 divided by three is six, so 180 divided by three is 60. It's just 10 times bigger. Again, use your times table knowledge for question eight. 12 times 10 equals 120, so 120 divided by 12 equals 10. 